Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to run disk check on Windows 10. Uh, now it'll be three different ways and it'll be a, a two-stage process for the first one if you have access to the desktop. If you don't have access to the desktop then I'll show you a way to do it at boot time. Okay, so first we open up File Explorer. Now if you don't have the icon down there you can always just search File Explorer in the search box there. Uh, and then on the left hand side we, we have the item this PC we want to click that on and you may see several hard disks here the one we're after is the one with the Windows logo there and it's usually C so we right click on that one and choose properties and then we choose the tools tab and you'll see error checking there we want to click the check button now it may or may not say uh, you need to or you don't need to scan this drive uh, regardless we click scan drive uh, now what it'll do this is a sort of a, a low level checking <coughs> in that it uh, it can only fix uh, basic problems it can't fix uh, extended problems so um, at the end of the scan it will say either uh, successfully fixed the problems or was unable to fix the problems but detected them um, if you get the second message where it's detected them and it can't fix them, I'll just cancel that, um, you need to run a deeper disk check, with a, which is a five stage disk check. Um, so we need to open a little bit of code for that. And in the search box just uh, type CMD, so we need to open a, an elevated command prompt, which means we right click and we run as administrator. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> now the code is here, check disk, so C-H-K-D-S-K, -S -S uh, C colon, so capital C colon, then forward slash F, forward slash R, forward slash X. Now those flags, uh, the first one uh, tells it to fix any errors, uh, the, the R flag tells it to repair any bad sectors in the hard drive and the forward slash X is unmount the volume. Now what's going to happen here if we enter this code and click uh, hit enter it'll say it cannot uh, perform this uh, procedure because uh, the volume is in use. Now that's what we want, that's what we expected. What we want to do is hit the letter Y and then enter and then it schedules a full disk check at next boot time. Okay, so we close that and then do a restart. Okay, so we're up to the disk checking uh, at boot time. Um, now you can cancel that if you press any key within eight seconds, but um, just be aware that the larger your hard drive, the longer it takes. And um, I've got a 50 gigabyte on this uh, virtual machine and it took about uh, probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes. If you've got a terabyte hard drive, so, which is quite common, it can take much longer. But if you're having errors, then there's nothing else you can do. You've got to do it, okay? So I will cancel this because I don't want to go through a disk check on a, a disk that's fine. Okay, so we're at the uh, login screen after the disk check, so uh, hopefully it all went well for you. Um, now if you don't have access to the desktop and it, it's failing at boot time I'll show you a way to uh, get around that. Now um, if you repeatedly, if you're booting up just after the BIOS screen what you want to do is hit the F11 key so the up at the top of the keyboard F11 repeatedly um, and that will get you into the uh, advanced menu now I can do this by cheating, uh, holding down the shift key while I click restart. So I'll do that now and that'll bring me into the same menu that you'll have. Okay, so we're up to the advanced uh, boot time menu. Now to get to disk check, we want to click troubleshoot and then advanced options and then you'll see their command prompt. So that will take you to another login screen or reboot and take you to another login screen.
Okay, so now we're into the command prompt screen. Uh, we still have to log in to have uh, administrator of privi privileges. Uh, so pop in your password there. And we should enter the command prompt. Okay, so what we enter here is the same as we entered before. CHK, DSK. And then we go capital C colon space forward slash F space forward slash R space forward, forward slash X. Okay, so that will uh, fix all your errors. We want to click that, uh, enter on, on that, and that will do the five stage process. And now this is a little different because um, this is a virtual hard drive, so uh, it, it works a little differently. Um, and it's very much quicker. When you're doing it yourself, it will take, it could take hours, so be prepared for that. All right. So hopefully that fixed your problem. You can try booting again. Um, if not, you want to look at uh, entering the advanced menu again and trying startup repair. Okay, and I'll do another video on that soon. All right, guys. So that's about it. Um, I hope it all went well, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.